Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about level control. So, let's look at the example first. Level control. If the low level sensor detects that the tank is low, then the pump will run for 20 seconds. If the high level sensor detects that the tank is full, the pump should stop for 30 seconds. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts and normally closed contacts. We will be also using a timer known as pulse timer, TP. And we will also use a memory bit. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this level control example. This is the interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly, we need to go to PLC tags, PLC tags, and then here default tag table. Here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So we have two inputs that is low level sensor. That is the sensor that detects the level of the tank is low and then we have one more sensor output or uh, sorry input that is high level sensor it is a sensor that detects the level of the of the uh, system is high and then we have an output that is a pump so it is an output so its address will start with q start with q 0.0 so here we have added our inputs and outputs after that we will go to program blocks and then main ob1 So here we will draw the ladder diagram. I will minimize this and then zoom into it. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and then a coil. This normally open contact will be for low level sensor. So I will write L and select low level sensor. And the coil uh, is for the pump. So I will write P and select pump from the list. So when low level sensor detects the level of the tank is low then this pump will turn on and this pump should turn on only for 20 seconds. So I will insert a timer here, timer operations and then TP. And then I will click on OK. So this pump should remain on for 20 seconds. So here we will write 30 S that is 30 seconds. And we have one more sensor that detects the level of the tank that is a high level sensor. So I will insert a normally open contact and a coil. So this normally open contact represents the high level sensor. So I will write H and select high level sensor from the list and then this coil which gets on when high level sensor detect the level is high so after that the pump should turn off so for that we will use a memory bit here so this will be m 0.0 and this pump should remain off for 30 seconds so this M0.0 should uh, remain on for only 30 seconds. So for that, <clears throat> I will insert a timer here that is a TP and the preset value will be 30 seconds. And after that, this, this M0.0 will be used here as normally close contact. So the address for this normally close contact will be M0.0. For now, we have completed the 
ladder diagram so uh, when low level sensor detects the level is low the pump will turn on for 30 seconds and then if high level sensor detects the level is high then this m0.0 .0 gets through and when it it gets through this pump will turn off and then when again low level uh, is sensed then the pump will turn on again so in this way it will go on and on so i will start simulation here Click on load and then finish. Now after that, I will start CPU. Okay. And then start monitoring. And after that, I switch to the project view. Let's create a new project here. Click on create. After that, we'll go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. So here I will right click here and then load project tags. So now we can start the simulation. So when a low level sensor detects the level is As you can see here, when low level sensor gets activated, the pump gets on for 30 seconds. And it will remain on for 30 seconds. Low level sensor detects the level is low, the tank is, uh, the level of the tank is low, then the pump gets on and it will remain on for 30 seconds. And after that, it will turn off. If the uh, level of the sensor is not low, if, uh, even though this pump will turn, uh, will remain on for 30 seconds and after that it will turn off so when the low level sensor again gets detected and in that case the level of the tank gets high so when this high level sensor gets activated when this high level sensor gets activated this pump will turn off as this M0.0 .0 gets through and this M0.0 .0 breaks the circuit and this pump will turn off. So after uh, 30 seconds, 
and after 30 seconds the high level sensor gets deactivated because the water is being used. And after that if again low level sensor gets detected the pump will not turn on after uh, 30 seconds it will turn on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.